Uh, I will not renounce! Rotten Sheog, you demon! Stop this! We take orders from you only on the battlefield, but for questions of faith, we answer to the Emperor. I told you to see if he's in league with the Faceless, not to burn his eyes out! He's a Baron of the Griffin Duchy! His eyes had failed him. Faith in Elrath is all he needs to see clearly. Faceless. They divide. Who's next? Me? I've no reason to doubt your faith. I sense a hidden threat. The Faceless divide. Brother against sister. Duke against parent. Tell me, Salvatore, is Georgia guilty of crimes against the Empire? We are all guilty of something. Only Elrath's light purifies our souls. Your Inquisition kills more of my subjects than the Orcs. You forget that the Faceless are our enemy. I shall report this to the Emperor. Then run to Liam. In my lands, you are no longer welcome. George is dead. His mind was shattered, his body broken. Why do you refuse a man the choice to honor two gods? Jorgen, the Faceless are near. I can feel it. Only Elrath can defeat them. He is light, they are darkness. Why must they be defeated? They killed my father, and they've torn my duchy in half. Why did they kill your father? I don't know the reason, but I swear I'll find it. I can help you, Anton, and you can help us, for nothing ever happens without a reason. You again? Not you? A faceless? We are many, and Jorgen is one of us. Duke Anton, I will escort her back to Falcon's Reach. Salvatore has overstepped his bounds, but I promise you that I'll mend her shattered soul. Her soul? And what about her body? Her mind? I should kill the Inquisitors for doing this to my sister. Where's Salvatore? Anton, Anastasia's soul is eternal. Flesh is weak and fleeting. You exposed a faceless spy. We must take them to the Emperor and trust his wisdom. Jorgen? He says nothing. He speaks only in riddles. Anton, wait. Anastasia of the Griffin family, you have been sentenced to jail by the Emperor until your life should naturally end. By right as Duke, I commune that sentence. Ah! Duke, you don't have the authority to pardon an Imperial crime. The Faceless, they divide. They cloak the light in shadows. For you are guilty of patricide, and the sentence is death. My duchy is in chaos, and I've killed my sister. Uriel and Salvatore are gone. Just as well, heeding their counsel brought me a civil war. I must restore peace to the duchy, and no one can help me. Not even the voices. Only I can repair what I have broken. I don't need a counselor. I have Elrath. I thought I made that clear to the Emperor when I sent Uriel away. Nonsense. Even I had half a dozen counselors at the height of my glory. 
I nearly destroyed my duchy to find just one faceless. The last thing I need is advice from a general of the Elder Wars. I want peace. You want peace? Forge it. Archangel Michael, every time I draw my sword, a loved one dies. If you are afraid to use a sword when you draw it, I suggest you walk with a sharp stick. Michael, I've got a dead baron back from the grave terrorizing my lands, and three of my most loyal barons have declared independence and created a free alliance of temperance. Duke Anton, you stand at the dawn of a holy war. The demons are coming. If your barons offer to give you practice, seize the opportunity and learn. You were born for war. This is your destiny. Embrace it. I've been wandering the Empire, seeking a way to repent for my crimes. Welcome to the Duchy of Griffin. At least you're not alone. What have you done? I used to keep lists. Lists of everything. It was more than a habit. It was my passion. During banquets, I could tell the lords how many trees were in their gardens and even how many daughters would be of marrying age by the next harvest. But then, the Inquisitors came. And they took your lists, then used them to round up innocent people suspected of conspiring with the Faceless. You know of my infamy. No, I know the Inquisition. Please, continue. Salvatore said that Elrath blessed my work. But I heard the peasants' whispers. Donald lost a son to Kilburn's list, and Jenny a daughter, Priestess Thomasine a husband, and old Larry a wife. Kilburn's lists became a synonym of death. A horrible curse. I too have wrongs to right. I've got three rebellious barons and the ghost of another trying to tear my duchy apart. You're welcome here. Perhaps you'll find a way to help us both. Step down! Let Kiro rule in your stead. Even Sandor would make a better duke. At least he carried himself like his father's son. I am and shall remain your duke. Sandor's run off, Kirill is missing, and my sisters have departed. Let me rule in peace. Peace? You're a tyrant, and deserve a tyrant's death. I defeated him for now, but he'll be back. I must find that hidden house and learn how to put his vengeful soul to rest. Lady Valeska, has the Emperor sent you to put me in chains, or are you here to beg forgiveness for your betrayal of my father? Emperor Liam sent me to replace Grand Inquisitor Salvatore as your Holy Counselor. I obeyed him, knowing that it might mean my execution. I am yours, Duke Anton. May Elrath guide you. Do you regret betraying my family? I did what I thought was right, but in all my years of service, I have never served a man as worthy as your father. Had I known this, I would have chosen differently. I don't pretend to know, or even understand, the will of Elrath. But I've learned that the only way to continue is through writing what you can, and hoping your life lasts long enough to do so. I would be honored to serve the Duke of Griffin once more. Then I shall give you a chance for redemption, but don't expect a pardon if you betray me. I am a Duke, but I am not my father. How dare they fly their flag over East Talon! The last time I fought here, there was nothing but a hut. Free Alliance. There won't even be a free woodshed when the demons come trampling through. The demons aren't due for years. What do I do in the meantime? Give them something more imminent to fear than the demons. Show them what you're made of. They appear to have forgotten. As angels soared in armor bright, pale wings torn and soiled, the light of Elrath bathed our wounds as skies and oceans boiled. From Rampart songs of victory, a tribute loudly voiced, and both the living and the dead with pounding heart rejoiced. Did you write that? No, I lived it. Ah, those were the days. To Baron George, revolts with my blessing. Send him back to his grave. George follows Elath and would never kiss an angel's foot. You? You bend your knee to the light like your legs were made of reeds. Georgia shall obey me, or I'll sprinkle his remains over every dung pile in the duchy. 
Demons are coming, and Elrath has got you chasing shadows. Istvan, hear me. When Georgia is crushed, I expect you to return to your tomb quietly. If you don't, I'll have it sealed very tightly. Ha! You should have done that long ago. You created the problem, George. You deal with it. Where have you... Oh, Duchess Kate. The champion of Malasa. The Dragon Knight. She will help us. Silence! I must speak with my son. Your presence is not welcome. You... you hear the voices? I was plagued by them as a child. I chose not to listen and lived a life of lies and deceit. The voices? What... who are they? Yes, you must learn or you will relive their torment and your own life will be ruined. <laughs> 